Of course, the process of bankruptcy is messy. The bondholders often don't know where they stand. You'll have senior bondholders, junior bondholders, sometimes they're senior mortgage bank holder, bondholders. They all have a chance of getting a piece of the new post-bankruptcy hurts because it's highly unlikely that the business actually goes away. The enterprise is worth something. The problem is that the common stockholders are at the bottom of the bankruptcy pecking order, meaning there's almost zero chance they get a piece of the new company. If you own Hertz here at four bucks, you're buying the old Hertz with 19 billion in debt that it can't repay. Since the creditors can't collect, they're going to seize the collateral, which is the business. So this four dollar stock will most likely just be canceled. Honestly, the fact that it hasn't been canceled yet is a travesty because it's only a matter of time. If I were running the bankruptcy court, I'd issue an edict saying the darn thing can't trade, which would keep inexperienced investors from losing money on it. Instead, this darn thing traded 530 million shares yesterday and 295 million today. The whole float is only 140 million. That's insane. And it's not just Hertz. We're seeing the same thing with Chesapeake Energy, the heavily indebted oil and gas producer. Chesapeake's headed for bankruptcy because it can't cover its interest payments. The bondholders will repossess the company, taking away the common stock from shareholders. The same way Hertz is being repossessed, the same way your house or your car will be repossessed. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.